Lovely to meet Edith Sarah from the upcoming. Absolutely fantastic to be here at the, the nominations for the British Academy Film Awards um, Rising Star. What do you make of the nominees? Um, the nominees are amazing, I think. I was, being on, I was on the jury, so it wasn't an easy... It's never an easy discussion talking about people's performances, but um, it's, uh, it was really healthy because there is so much, there's so much great stuff out there. But these five wonderful people and also the films and the performances really stood out. Uh, and I think that what's fantastic is just the strength and the and the talent that, that's out there. It's like these are these are these are you know these are rising star nominees, but they're also leading performances, I think, as well. And what's the importance of this award and what do you think it can do for someone's career? I think that it's it's highlighting um, performances that we think are outstanding, uh, of people who are at a point in their career where the, the, the star is rising. So it's to kind of highlight that. But also it's voted for by the public. You know, it's the only award at BAFTA that's voted for by the public. And I think that's a wonderful thing because all these films have connected in different ways with different audiences. Um, and I think that it gives it back to the film fan to make the decision on which one of these five they think deserves to win. I couldn't choose between these five. I kind of feel like I had the easy job. Now picking between these five is the hard job. And it seemed like 2017 was a fantastic year for film, particularly British independent film, and for a diversity of stories and people in front and behind the camera. How do you make the film industry at the moment? I think that, you know, there's been a lot of negativity uh, with coming out with, with horrendous uh, stories about, um, you know, all manner of things. And I think this is a really good way of highlighting the positive. And I think that there is. I think that that's kind of almost what's been forgotten about is how healthy British film is and how healthy the roles are that are up and available and how they are diverse and how they are going to different people and you look at you know three of these roles are uh, you know about, about characters with with kind of homosexual orientation bisexual Tess's character and Thor it's wonderful and it's how it should be it should be and that wasn't a discussion that came into the room you know when we were discussing about it it's just we love the film we love the performances and it's bloody brilliant and do you think more needs to be done to make the film industry a bit more accessible and to introduce more diversity i think that there's you know you can always do more but i think that this list kind of really shows that it, it we you know it is happening but of course there's more that we can do and i think that um that's the point that i think with regards to all the negativity that came out weinstein all that kind of stuff is like that's a point that we move forward from now and we take that as an as an example of what we're not going to do anymore and we move forward and we do and we 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 can lay new rules we can lay new foundations about how it's going to be from now on um, and i think that BAFTA has always been an incredibly diverse organization you know i've worked with BAFTA over the years and i'm always surrounded by amazing women it's run by women, it's fantastic. And so I think BAFTA's always been an organization that's really been a bastion for diversity. Uh, and I think that people should maybe kind of look to that as it being a bit of a beacon as to how we can do things better. And what's the outlook for 2018? Any films you particularly got your eye on that you're excited about? Yeah, there's so much stuff actually. One in particular, Lenny Abramison's coming back with a new film. So obviously he did amazingly well with Room. Brie Larson winning every award under the sun. Uh, and he's got this new film, I think it's called Strangest Things, with Donald Gleeson, Charlotte Rampling and Will Poulter. Uh, so I'm really excited about that because I think Lenny as a filmmaker is incredibly exciting. So that's one that I can think of. And then the new Han Solo film, obviously. <laughs> And for you personally, have you got projects in the pipeline? Yeah, we've got a lot on the go, actually. So um, I've been doing this, I, I launched my own podcast last August called Soundtracking. So that's been running just over a year now. And it's the way, it was a kind of selfish way of me being able to talk to filmmakers about their relationship with music. So we, we talk to directors, producers, actors. Uh, and actually next week's episode is with all the, all the nominees. So that's exciting. So that's a kind of weekly thing that I do. And I've got a few film projects uh, in the pipeline to try and uh, allow me to enthuse about stuff uh, again for TV. But fingers crossed. We'll see. All right. Fantastic. Thanks so much for your time. Nice Thank you. Nice to meet you.